good. We've just done all of our tests and they came back negative. So mm -hmm. excited about that. Can't wait. Mind the lack of makeup. We're going to fake tan tonight. I mean, Laura's got makeup on. She looks rather nice, doesn't she? She's been wet today. But I work from home, so I look like a scruff. So that's fine. But yeah, excited, Lauren? I am. So yeah. excited. Let's go. Grab yeah. my phone because i got to drive. Vegas, baby. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. So we just got to Watford Gap and <laughs> the oil has came on. I mean, we're stupid, yet yeah, we didn't check it. And Laura's just on the phone to break down, trying to figure it out either what oil we put in, because we don't normally do that. Lauren's dad normally does it. To figure out whether they're either going to come and recover us or whether they're going to bring us some oil or whether we can put some oil in the car. But it's going kind of great. But either way, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. Maybe not tonight, but we'll get there tomorrow. And we're just really excited. You crack on there, Lauren. Doing a great job. Right. Here we go. I've got my manual. You got a card? No. Thank you, man. Card. Can I have a card? Not, not going to really be able to get some oil about a card. So I'm going to have to go. We called up our recovery and they were like, we can just take the car. And we're like, no, you can't just take the car. We're going to Vegas tomorrow. We <laughs> cannot afford for you to just take the car. We're like, can you not just bring us some oil? And they're like, no, no. It's either we come and take the car or nothing. And we're like, but as soon as you come into us, can't you just bring us some oil? They're like, no, no. So I'm going to go into this um, petrol station now, see if I can get some pet, not some petrol, see if I can get some oil. And hopefully I'm going to ask somebody if they can put it in because I don't even know where it goes. But yeah, I'm going to go and crack on now. Let's go and see. <sighs> Let's go and see. This is fun. I look like I've been dragged for an edge back once as well. Okay, oil, oil, need some oil. Oh, 30 pounds, oh, it's a bit cheap. Not a clue, not an actual clue. Right, I'm gonna go, because I'm gonna have to ask the lady what I need to get, and then I'll be back. So here we are, the dream teams in the shop. <laughs> Choices. <laughs> How much is our one? So they range from, the range from fifteen pounds, and our one I think is thirty pounds. Of course, it's the most expensive one. But do they have it? So we're trusting Eurocar parts with the oil type, and you can get this one for thirteen pounds on Eurocar parts. But we're going to pay thirty. <laughs> oh. But we're going to go and get a McDonald's. We're just going to let the car cool down for a little bit, okay. and then. <laughs> and our um, little stress head over here and then we're gonna do it go power well probably, probably not we're probably gonna have to ask somebody but yeah. that's okay shout out to the lady in the garage she was super helpful bless her she was like if you need to know what fuel goes in your car all you do is you go into google type in your reg and then it tells you brilliant <laughs> nice and easy <laughs> you're okay <laughs> how are you feeling I'm stress eating. Stress eating? Mm -hmm. What have you got? What did you opt for? A Big Mac. Oh, show me your Big Mac. It's basically just plain with lots of onions. And I went for the sweet chilli wrap and some of these cheesy bites. And then we went for these as well. These are new. Mine's the chocolate one. And what did you get? The strawberry frappuccino. Yeah exactly what we need just before we're about to become mechanics don't worry we can do this i think you're underestimating us i really hope that's the problem that it's just lack of oil it'll be absolutely fine don't worry guys i will definitely video lauren in full swing fixing the car <laughs> uh, don't worry we'll get there guys we might be pulled along to the airport but we'll We'll be there. We'll just ditch the car and get a train. Well, that's it, isn't it? Either way, it'll be an adventure. Let's see how long it takes us and yeah. what modes of transport we get on. Yeah, to be continued. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do it? I think so. <laughs> I hope so. Oh. I think it's done. It was as dry as I don't know what. Yeah, all done. 
Let's get on the road again, Lauren. See, nothing to worry about. Next Absolutely time that light fine. Turns off. Of course it will. You seen that it was dry on the stick. Lauren thinks that you get this stick here and you dip it into there. <laughs> mm. So it's not good news, I'm afraid. We've just put the oil in the car and it's not working. Lauren's had to go to the window now and bless the staff here. I haven't actually managed to grab her name, but she was about to leave, bless her heart. And she was like, is everything okay? And I was like, mm, not really. We've rang our breakdown and they don't really want to help us. But Lauren's gone to the window now to see if she can get another one. They are actually closed, but the lady's actually gone back in to see if we can get another one. Bless her absolute heart. She's trying her utmost to help us. What an absolute sweetheart. Um, this red car belongs to her. So if you own this red car and you work at the wild bean cat oh, it's not in there it's a bp petrol station at the watford gap thank you so much you have been an absolute sweetheart hopefully that'll do the trick if we buy another one and then we'll be able to be on the road if not i'm not too sure what's going to be happening tonight we know we're not going to go home but we're just hoping that we can pretty much get this resolved so that we can get back into the holiday spirit of things because right now we're just like okay we did really know what to do because nobody wants to pick us up. Our breakdown said that they'll pick us up and take us all the way back home, but we can't go back home. So, yeah, we'll keep you updated. It's going to be a fun night. <laughs> so we're back inside at the services. It's half. What time is it now, Lauren? Half past 12. <laughs> Lauren is not impressed. I mean, I don't blame her. We have been here for hours now, haven't we? Yeah, we've had to pay because we've stayed over two hours. Yeah, we've had to pay £20, haven't we? Because yeah. we've been here for that long now. And we've got scraggy air. We've had to get a drink because we're freezing. So one time we not brought our coat as well. We've just cancelled the breakfast at our hotel, haven't we? Because we're clearly not going to go in our hotel tonight. <laughs> and we, we can't get a refund on that, but that's fine. Um, I mean, it's not fine, but it is what it is, isn't it? The recovery company still can't tell us when we're going to be recovered. No. We're trying to figure out a taxi company that's willing to pick us up from Watford Gap Services. Yeah, I mean, I'm not best pleased with the breakdown company that we're with. We're not obviously going to name them right now, mm. but <laughs> I am going to be logging a complaint. <laughs> because I'm just like, we're paying for a service and we're just completely stranded. But we pay... Not, it's not even a little bit of money, we pay quite a bit of money for our breakdown and we broke down and they've not come to our rescue. No, well they've said um, we will get a different service because it's night time so there's less <laughs> drivers on the road and they're all they having do. breaks. They do. But I shouldn't, that level of service should remain the same whether it's one in the afternoon or one in the morning in my eyes if you're offering a 24-7 recovery service and yeah, taking the same fee. Yeah, you're taking the same fee. We pay the same fee as those that break down in the day, yet we're getting absolutely no service whatsoever. But yeah. Hopefully they'll having, call us, not they Just said. gonna have a little drink, just so that we can warm up. We've just been for a pig. Not that you needed to know that, but. We was meant to fake tan in the hotel room. That's not gonna happen. We were supposed to sh shave our legs. Can you shave my legs? <laughs> <laughs> Going to bake us a hairy beast. Hopefully when you see us um, when we get to Vegas, we might look a bit fresher. Um, but this is all, this is us in our beauty, isn't it, Lauren? But we're fine. Whoa. We've got each other and we'll get there. I hope so. We will. We will. Don't worry. We will. We'll definitely get there. Maybe not this year, but next year. <laughs> oh, no, no. Yeah. Okay. Gotta go now. I'm gonna Let's go. see. What's next in store for Ooh, us? We'll stay do, tuned. Yeah, another update. Never a dull moment with us. If it's not us missing taxis because we've had too much drink when we were going to Disney, it's us breaking down and we can't get on our holiday. I wonder what is next in store, eh? <laughs> Cheers. 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 I wish it was vodka. Cheers. So, finally got recovery and the car is going to be going very very soon and we are about to be getting picked up in the next 30 minutes or so but we can't wait to get to the hotel now all we want to do is go there put on our fake tan go to bed and hopefully get in the spirit for our holiday but yeah it's been a very long day we have been 
both been at work today and then we've drove all the way here from the north so a bit tired now but hopefully that's the end of the bad news for today but can't wait to get into bed and be nice and snuggly in my pajamas but definitely tune back in for tomorrow um in fact we might actually do a little glimpse when we get to the hotel so we have just arrived where are we <laughs> <laughs> finally what time is it lauren it is well, half two not too bad not too bad considering we left at six o'clock yeah <laughs> so that's what six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve a lot of hours one two too many hours <laughs> but we're gonna go into the hotel we now don't have breakfast because we cancelled the breakfast because we thought we weren't staying here but that means we get not maybe not two more hours in bed but it means we get a, that's true a little bit more time it's absolutely freezing which is why the camera is shaking like crazy but yeah let's go in finally we have made it the driver was an absolute oh it was a star it was such it, a star he is a lifesaver he is a lifesaver he was so kind as well um do you know the name of his company we've got a receipt somewhere. we've got a receipt when we find out the name of this company i'd highly recommend him and we're just so glad to be here and we can't wait to get into the spirit of our holiday tomorrow we'll show you the room we'll show you the room <laughs> let's go so finally after all the palaver we managed to reach the premier inn at hemel hampstead west it was perfectly fine did the trick it's in line with all the other premier inns i would say it was quite noisy because obviously you're you're quite near the motorway but if you're just staying for one night perfectly adequate come in lauren let's go let's see what's in store Quite big. I mean, it look, looks a lot better than um, the car park. Services. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that bed. Oh. Test the bed, Lauren. Go on, do a starfish. Run and jump. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just broke it. Oh my god, it did sound very hard. <gasps> Can you tell we've been in the car park for absolutely ages? <sighs> we made it. We did. And we can soon start. Oh, there's a hairdryer. Check this little snazzy little premier in out. God, going up in the world over here with the hairdryer. Won't be using any of this. <laughs> That's quite a good one. The bathroom as well. Nice noisy extractor. <laughs> I do hate that when they only give you one towel. <laughs> but you've paid for two people. Oh, what are we going to do with this? <laughs> what, one, one side's mine, <laughs> one side's yours. <laughs> so, that is very true. Especially when we need two each as well. The hair and uh, your body. Yeah. <laughs> what are you looking for? What are you <laughs> hoping to find? I no. <laughs> I think you need some sleep, Lauren. <sighs> yes, but first we've got ironing to do, fake tanning to do, and shaving to do. So we best crack on. Good morning! <laughs> you're all alright? I hope you're all fresh. <laughs> We certainly aren't, after two and a half hours sleep, I think we only managed to get. Oh gosh, I didn't think we were going to make it to this hotel, um, I'm not going to lie. I thought we were going to be spending the night at, what was the other option we had to take? It was either get a taxi all the way to here, or was it Nottingham? No, um, your brother suggested it. No, it might have been Nottingham, yeah. Whatever, yeah. it was to another place to basically then catch a coach. <laughs> But we would have then had to catch a coach to the airport and then sleep in the airport for a few hours. So we're quite happy that we managed to get the bed for a couple of hours. Yeah. Managed to put on a bit of fake tan, have a shower and feel just a bit fresher, didn't yeah. we? I'm so sorry we didn't get to do um, the Q&A last night, but I'm going to do just a few of them now. And hopefully we'll be able to answer a few questions and you'll be able to get to know us a little bit more. So here we go. So first question was from walking... Um, walking with the woods YouTube 
and they said, who is driving? Well, <laughs> good question. <laughs> That's a very good question. Um, I actually drive um, for the first half, but it would have been Lauren. Yeah. But for the second half, it was... Nyan. Nyan. Nyan did the second half <laughs> of the journey, and then we're about to get an Uber. So that's who drove. The next one is from Miss Annie Stores. Love that lady. Um, do you have a party trick? Oh, oh, good question. I have a party trick. Um, hold my phone. So I can whistle with every finger. neighbours certainly <laughs> um i don't have one i'm sure you have I'm really one boring no you're i don't really boring. i've not discovered what my party <laughs> trick is just yet no no not yet maybe we'll find out on this holiday maybe um, where are you staying that was from unicorn mummy we are staying at the mirage hotel and we're also staying at the mgm grand oh park park so we're between the two. We're really looking forward to it. Lauren's mum and dad are already in Vegas. Yeah. So we're going to be meeting the in-laws out there. So we're really excited, aren't we? Yeah, we are. I think I've never been to Vegas before. Lauren's been a couple of times, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, this is my third trip. Yeah. So yeah. we're really looking forward to it. And then we had this one. Vinto's Vault um, sent in a question. What was your favourite show growing up? Not Disney, no. Oh, favourite show. Favourite show. Oh, that's a very good question. I liked my favourite, I don't know if it was a show or more, a programme, but there was a programme when we grew up and it was like full of um, oh, monkeys and you'd go into a tomb and you'd oh, complete yeah. challenges and yeah. you'd go into a tomb. It'd be a bit like Crystal Maze, but in tombs, once you go in, you complete a challenge. A bit like escape rooms. That was one of my favourite ones. And then there was another one that was like a playhouse and you'd go in and you'd get gunged and stuff. All right, yeah. I don't know the name of them because I'm <laughs> old now. When you're little, you just don't take note of that, but they're my favourite ones. What about yourself? Oh, um, I used to love watching The Queen's Nose, if anyone remembers oh, that. Oh, yeah, the that 50 good one. point. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, or Bernard's Watch, when it used to stop time. Oh. That would have been handy. That would have been yesterday. definitely handy yeah. yesterday. Um, yeah, there's so many that I watched that I love. Oh, unicorn with me. Have you still packed your Disney ears? Yes, I have. I actually have. <laughs> I've has. packed two pairs. You can't go on holiday without your Disney ears. No. It's, it seems so alien to me to be packing and not going to Disney. Yeah. So, yeah, I have actually packed <laughs> my has. Disney ears. I have. Send in pixie dust. What is your favourite Disney snack? Oh, mine is the hot fudge sundae. So, it's from Walt Disney World. It comes with um, vanilla ice cream, warm chocolate fudge, brownie. I think you get a little cherry on the top and a bit of cream. That's my favourite. Oh, mine's got to be Dull Whip. Dull Whip. Yeah. Classic. Yes. What model is your car? <laughs> that's from JP92110. Bag of rubbish. That's what model our car is. Yeah. It's, it's a Kia Sportage. Um, not really into like our cars, but we just bought this car because we thought it'd be very reliable. Not very do reliable. Not. <laughs> so do not go ahead and buy a Kia Sportage. Avoid at all costs. We just wanted an SUV and we found that. Mm -hmm. it was reliable, but clearly not. Yeah, clearly not. <laughs> Disney mom, Laura, have you been to Vegas before? I think I touched upon it before. I've never been, Lauren's been. We always, I when we always price it up, it always comes it always comes up to about the same price as Walt Disney World. Yeah. So I always say I'd rather have two weeks in Walt Disney World and I'd rather um, be there for two weeks and be in the bubble and go from park to park. But because with the pandemic at the moment, they haven't got the dining plan and we're not sure if they're going to be bringing it back. So for us, we were like, let's 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 um, give Vegas a try. Yeah. So I managed to get you there. Managed well, to get me there. Not there yet, but hopefully <laughs> I will manage to get her there. Well, I will do one more. What are the plans when you're in Las Vegas? Did you book the helicopter ride? <laughs> That's from the Johnson's Adventure. No, we didn't book no. the helicopter ride. I have seen that it's a really good experience. Maybe yeah. we might add it on. Um, and what are your plans? Loads of plans, loads of food, loads of drink. As always, always food and drink. But yeah, what we're gonna do now, we'll run a little bit late. 
Lauren's poking me in my back, saying, yes. Sarah, we're running late, the taxi's gonna be outside. Yes. We're gonna go and get in the taxi. When we get to the airport, we'll probably come back on and we'll be able to have a good little catch up because it's been a bit full on, hasn't it? But yeah. we're hoping once we get through that manic bit at the airport with the check-in and all the clothes, um, the clothes and stuff, because we're not sure if we're gonna be able to wait. <laughs> Once we get through all of that, we'll probably be back and then we'll be able to enjoy our holiday. Yeah, definitely. But yeah. Hope you enjoy getting to know us. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be wild. <laughs> so I, this is my airport outfit. Nothing too snazzy. <laughs> but it's simply just a black play suit from Boohoo. Does the trick, nice and comfy. Very flexible for if you wanna, you know, chill on the plane, but You got your suitcase, Lauren? I have. Woo! -hoo. Off we go. <laughs> Off we go. So ready for this holiday. Yes. Strawberry daiquiris at the ready. Yes. Cannot wait for those. <laughs> we'll call Carmel and Tony and say, get those ready. <laughs> but let's go. Let's go catch our taxi. Let's go. Bye -bye. So we have just got to the airport. Bye -bye. Lauren is just paying for the taxi over here. And then we're going to be going in. We can't wait. We're absolutely starving. I was really looking forward to that buffet breakfast at the Premier Inn, but not to worry. We're going to go in probably check out the pub. Oh, oh. aeroplane. Oh, I think I missed it. Never mind. But definitely stay tuned. This holiday is going to get a hell of a lot better from here on in. So I went for the steak and ale pie with mixed vegetables, creamy mash and a side of gravy. It was £14 and it was alright, it wasn't the best pub grub that I've had. Lauren went for the bangers and mash and she said the sausages were rather tasty and this does normally come with gravy and onions. So yeah, if you're visiting, go and check out the pub. Found us a lift Lauren. I've had to resort to a moped. <laughs> I've got a full transport to the mix. <laughs> go on then, off you go, Lauren. nice cake. Yeah. What's that place called Lauren? Uh, Elan. Elan. So Elan. we've literally just seen this place. We, I didn't know it was here. Did you know it was here? No. No, I didn't. No. And they do lots and lots of cakes. And also when I was paying for my cake, they did some really good cocktails as well. So if you're looking for some drinks and some cakes, head to there. Yeah. If you're, yeah. It's cute, all pink, very girly. And they have like a big Vegas sign as well, yeah. didn't they? Yeah. So there's some really good like photo opportunities in there, little moped. Really good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We made it. I can't Check believe it. Oh, 
recently. All gone missing. <laughs> and as of my watch off, God knows where it is. There's only two of us that live in the house and everything just goes missing. One day we'll hopefully turn back on. <laughs> Now it's time for that favourite part that everyone looks forward to when they get on the plane, the aeroplane food. Now what we had was like a cottage pie filled with vegetables, wasn't too fond of that to be honest, but what I really did enjoy was the chocolate pot. Now these are normally chocolate and orange and I'm not a massive orange fan lover, but this was salted caramel and it was super yummy, so shout out to the chocolate pots. And then you'd get a little side of ciabatta bread which came with a side of butter and that was super cute too and as you can see on the right hand side we had some orange juice Now, as you've seen, we did take a little cheeky trip into Ellen's and we decided to bring our cake on board with us. I went for the chocolate ganache and this was beautiful. Honestly, it was stunning. I would give this a nine out of 10. It was super soft. The filling was delicious. I would have that again. Lauren went for the red velvet cake, which she said was super yummy. Sometimes the cream can be somewhat cheesy, but she said it wasn't. She said it was super sweet and very sugary, which is what she really likes. She would give it a 10 out of 10. Taste test. <laughs> nice big piece. <laughs> is it nice? Yeah, what would you rate it out of 10? 
strong nine out of ten. Oh, a nine. Yeah, oh, it's wow. Good. It must be good if Lauren gives it a nine. You know what Lauren's like when she reviews the food? It normally gets like a five or a six. Yeah, it's nice and moist and. Oh, I hate that word. <laughs> I'd use the word moist. Because <laughs> it is, it is moist. Okay. Um, yeah, it's nice and light and spongy. And I like the cream as well because I'd be a bit funny with the cream filling on a velvet cake. Not too right, like cream cheesy. Oh, that looks really good. Oh, nice. You've got a lovely view there, Lauren. Living oh, your nice. best life there. Oh, I am. I'm going to try mine now. got an hour 
more to go, so we're almost there. And how are you feeling, sir? Oh, I overdid it with the chocolate cake. I'm yeah. having a crump. Yeah. <laughs> Not a crump, man. I'm having a bit of a crump in my stomach, but it's all right. <laughs> we're almost there. Yeah. I'm really excited. Yeah. I can't wait to have like Lauren as my personal tour guide. Yes. Can't wait to show you around. Yeah. It's so hot. It's 27 degrees at the moment, which isn't as hot as it is going to get yeah. throughout the week, but it is warm. Because it's quite late as well, isn't it now? It's yeah, it's around, it's around 7 p.m. and yeah. it's around 3 a.m. Um, UK time, so I can't believe we're still going. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, I'm just like, <laughs> absolutely like elated that we're even here. I'm, so so excited i can't wait to because i've never been here before I'm, when i go to like disney i get really really excited because it's the bubble everyone loves disney but here it's like new like i've never seen anything no so it's like oh, that unknown it. i've only ever seen like you're bits and bobs it. on youtube you're gonna love it so i'm really really looking forward to it so let's go and um catch our uber if we can get one hopefully or maybe a little surprise who knows um, and let's go to the hotel. Yeah, so we hope you enjoyed our travel day. We <laughs> will be vlogging our room and we will be going out tonight, but we're gonna pop that in a different vlog because we're quite aware that this is quite a long one. Um, but definitely stay tuned because we've got lots of fun things to come. And yeah, it's gonna get wild. Well, it's all down to Lauren really. She's my tour guide, so it depends how wild Lauren No goes. pressure, right? But what? guess what? What happens here stays, stays here. here. <laughs> Speak to you soon guys, bye!